In this video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about Google VO3, how to use it, how to access it, how much it costs, how to get really advanced with it, and some examples of different videos that you can create using Google VO3 to actually justify the subscription. Let's jump right in. So Google VO3 is accessible within Google Gemini. And as of this recording, it's only available on the Google AI Ultra plan, which is their most expensive. It is discounted right now in half at $124.99 for the first three months. And then it goes up to $249 per month. There are a lot of additional benefits that come with this plan as well to kind of make it a little bit more accessible just to get the pricing out of the way. How you're going to actually access it once you've upgraded to that AI Ultra plan is in gemini.google.com. This is their chat-based interface here. And what you're going to do is as soon as you get to the Gemini app here, in order to access VO3, you're going to look down here at the bottom and click on video. Okay. This is going to give you some in-depth information here and you can do generate video with VO3. It gives you this little preview down here, bring ideas to life with eight second video clips. You're the director. And the really cool thing about VO3 is that in audio. So VO2 was able to generate pretty high quality videos, but there were no audio and there was no lip syncing involved. And VO3 really did a great job at doing that. So here's a couple quick examples of videos I was able to make in VO3 with a simple prompt, like two boxer sparring, one has a shirt that reads in video, the other syllabi. The boxer with syllabi on this shirt delivers a knockout right hook. And the in video boxer falls to the ground. The boxer with the syllabi shirt on his hand raises in victory, saying syllabi is the king of faceless video marketing. Syllabi is the king of faceless video marketing. So this is a pretty good clip, right? It does pretty much exactly what I wanted it to do. I'm using this as an ad to test that out right now. So that's one of the ways that you can actually use this to be effective is creating ads. Now, another quick example, I wanted to do something sort of fun. A 34-year-old Caucasian man wearing blue glasses is doing push-ups. He says while sweating, I'm doing 1,000 push-ups every day until you get your ticket to AI Marketing World. It's the best AI conference in the world. I'm doing a thousand push-ups every day until you get your ticket to AI Marketing World. It's the best AI conference in the world. I'm doing a... Now, that was pretty good, right? I mean, aside from the like one-arm push-up, which is pretty impressive, but the lip syncing is there, the audio is there, and it does a really good job. Now, it doesn't just have to be hyper-realism either. You can type in something like cartoon banana that unpeels himself and says, oops, I'm now naked. And as you can see, this is going to take between one and two minutes to actually generate. So let's fast forward to the result. And here's our fairly haunting result. Oops, I'm now naked. <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of strange, but, and you can kind of see that it's already like appealed within appealed. So there is a little bit of an error there, but nonetheless, it worked out pretty well. Now, of course you can get way more specific and you can type in anything that you want in here. You can even have dialogue. So for instance, here's one that I generated and you can use a prompt similar to this. Two men sitting on a baseball field in foldable beach chairs. They're both wearing Dodgers jerseys. One uh, person A says, Want to hear a dark joke? Person two says, sure. Person one, why don't orphans play baseball? Person two, why? Person one, because they don't know where home is. Both men laugh awkwardly. So you can start to piece together scenes like this. Check this out. Want to hear a dark joke? Sure. Why don't orphans play baseball? Why? Why? Because they don't know where home is. <laughs> Want to hear a dark joke? Now, aside from the like extra why that was in there, this is pretty perfect. I think it's pretty insane that you can specify very specific dialogue between multiple people. So to be even more advanced with your outputs with Google VO3, this is a strategy that came from my good friend, Jeff J. Hunter. And so we actually just went over to ChatGPT and asked it to help write a killer prompt for Google VO3. What questions can I answer for you? 
to get the best output. And so it actually gave me a list of questions for me to answer, like what is the goal of the video, tone and emotion, the setting, any characters that I want involved, any specific actions, visual style for reference, camera style, how long is the clip, and should there be any text or voiceover cues. And so I went ahead and already answered these. So the goal of the video is to create an ad for my SaaS tool syllabi, which is pronounced a specific way. Make sure that if you have a tool that can be mispronounced that you put that in there, which is an AI video marketing software. The tone should be inspiring to show people how they can use syllabi to earn money by growing a faceless social media channel. The setting is a busy household full of kids. The idea is that anyone can create a faceless channel. You can monetize no matter how busy you are. The character should be a busy mom who's overwhelmed but finds peace in knowing she can create a passive income stream anywhere from her phone. The visual style is hyper-realistic. The total clip is eight seconds long. Please write your own dialogue to best fit this description. And so I'm just going to take all of this. I'm going to paste this back into this chat GPT prompt. And it gave me the exact prompt here, a hyper-realistic cinematic eight-second video of a busy household in warm daylight, a tired but determined young mom, blah, 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 blah. So I'm just going to actually paste, copy and paste this entire prompt over into Gemini here with V3. And let's see what this thing creates. And now the video is good, but it, just a heads up, it didn't actually generate audio. So I, I tried to generate it back and forth and it actually, the results are good, but the audio is not there for some reason. So you can see that it generated sort of an ad in a busy mom environment, craziness all around. And the dialogue is supposed to say in the subtitles, they said, I need time to grow a business. Syllabi proved them wrong. And then it actually cuts away to like, I actually kind of like this one a little bit better. Busy mom. And then it shows like a, a platform of syllabi. But for some reason, the audio is not there. So keep that in mind that, you know, Gemini can make mistakes. So always double check it. Now, I've been using Google VO3 in a couple of different ways. I've been making funny videos. I've been making ads and promo videos. I made a happy birthday video. But I wanted to actually see what Gemini thought would be some of the most useful ways to use Google VO3. And here's what it came up with. So 20 different types of videos that you can create using Google VO3 to give you a little bit of a head start. So short films and cinematic scenes. Another thing you can do as well that I've started to see people do is create each scene by scene, and then you can actually edit them all together. So you can begin to make commercials, multi-scene commercials, or short films, or anything along the lines of that, even potentially YouTube videos. If you do it eight second by eight second and you have really specific prompts, then maintain that character consistency throughout. But music videos, rap videos, sketch comedy videos, ASMR videos, for marketing and business purposes, so advertisements, these I've already been doing. Product demo videos, I don't think are fully there yet because you can't really add source material. Site video, micro content, YouTube bumpers and intros. I think this is a really cool idea. You can add like intro for your channel or a YouTube end card or something like that. Grand storytelling videos. You could create fake testimonials of your product. Do with that what you will explainer history videos, math breakdowns. I've created some fitness videos like I showed you earlier in here. Character consistent. You can adjust video camera controls, action oriented. This is just incorrect. You can't do image to video yet. So it does seem like Gemini doesn't even know the full capabilities of VO3. Again, this just released. There's going to be lots of improvements that are coming out. Let me know in the comments how you plan on using Google VO3, if you think it's worth the price tag right now, and if you'd like me to do a follow-up video in a month or two as more advancements rolled out. As always, I hope this was helpful. Subscribe if you want more AI tools and tutorials like this. And I've got another really helpful video right here that I think will help you. I'll see you in that video, my friend.